Hi, everyone. My name is Brendan, and welcome to episode number four of Modeling Mondays, presented by Quantrix. Each episode, we cover topics that are relevant to modelers and planners. Joining me is my co-host, Lindsay, and today we're going to be covering how to give every model user a custom experience. If you're new to Quantrix, we are a financial modeling software company. And if you'd like to learn more about us, you can visit us at Quantrix.com. So, Lindsay, what are some of the specifics we're going to be looking at today? Yeah, so first we'll talk about what some of the most common challenges are with sharing spreadsheets and financial models with users and how we collaborate on those together. We'll also talk about what the key components are to making your model have a good user experience for the modelers who are interacting with your model. And then finally, we'll talk about the tools that you can implement to improve that user experience to give all of your modelers that custom tailored perspective in your models. To start off, what do we mean by a custom experience for each model user? Well, let's take a look at an example. It's a way for users to share and interact with models online in real time. They can make changes to cells, they can move sliders, toggle buttons, use checkboxes and other widgets, even update data and create scenarios on the fly all from this end user interface. So before starting at Quantrix, Lindsay, you use spreadsheets, and as someone who provides demos now, you've also seen the struggles of customers and prospects. Having multiple users collaborating on the same spreadsheet file can be really challenging, and a common workaround that I see is making copies of the same file, or worse, cutting it up into segments and then distributing it through email to all of those different people that need to use it. And every time a spreadsheet gets copied or split, we're introducing the chance for error, not to mention adding tons of time on the back end to stitch that file back together once everybody has contributed their own inputs. If you choose to not split up the file, we risk overwhelming our users with way too many tabs and sheets and a lot of information that frankly they don't need for their job, and none of this makes for good user experience. What are some of the ways that Quantrix addresses those challenges? Configuring a custom experience for each user should be something we automate in our models. And Quantrix enables models to be easily shared even as the model grows or the team size increases. There's no need for making copies of the same data, no custom code or AI assistance required. And best of all, this configuration effort can be done just one time and will work for everyone. No need for continual administrative work to keep the model tailored for each user. Overall, what are the key components to creating a custom experience? First, the model should really reside on the cloud for users. Anything stored locally is just a risk. You need to have the ability to also easily create and define custom roles and interfaces like custom dashboards. And for these roles to reflect each user's tasks in the model, we need to have access to setting granular modeling permissions. And best of all, a good model UX is responsive to who is logged in. Role responsive data filtering completely eliminates the need to duplicate anything in a model. If you can detect who's looking at the model, then that tailoring should happen automatically. Finally, versioning should be an autopilot functionality, so users don't have to save local copies as a fallback if something goes wrong. Let's shift gears now to look at some model collaboration solutions from Quantrix. Up first, how to overcome long email chains. Stop emailing spreadsheets. Attaching the latest version of a spreadsheet and emailing it back and forth between your colleagues is a poor user experience. There's a better way. Start sharing on Quantrix Cloud. Determine who should get access to the model, select their role, and leave a note. Everyone works from the same online model, while each user will only see and interact with what they need. So here's an example. My screen is the central manager view. I've only been given access to that role, so my view is limited to only central region data. Lindsay, on the other hand, is the global manager, so she can see all regions. You'll notice that when I click a cell, it turns blue, while Lindsay is in pink. What you're seeing here is how Quantrix makes it easy to configure custom views and workspaces of a model for different people based on their job responsibilities. Setting permissions is easy. Simply select the role you want to edit and manage the access by checking the boxes. Specify access down to the cell level. 
Each user's experience will be constrained to those settings, including guardrails on things such as allowable data entry types. No more cutting up pieces of your spreadsheet to email to different users, only to carefully stitch them back together. In Quantrix, a single matrix of data can be filtered automatically based on who's logged in and looking at it. This is role responsive data filtering. Here's a view of the same matrix of data. On the left is all the data completely unfiltered. On the right, this matrix is filtered to show data according to the central user's role. Each user can pivot data and change their view without breaking any formulas or interfering with other users. Now we're going to show you automatic online versioning. On the left side of your screen, we are demonstrating how to create a tag on your model. You'll notice that I'm making changes to the model first, for example, the tax rate, as well as adding a new scenario. My changes are saved instantly, but maybe I need to step away for a moment and want to bookmark my stopping point. When you tag a model, you are saving a snapshot of the model in its current state. This is perfect if I want to come back to a specific view for easy reference. No longer do you need to save a local copy to your desktop. A timeline of versions created by all users are always accessible to your team online, not just you. Easily revert a model back to a previous version, download a copy, or preview the model. We've seen how these key ingredients built into Quantrix can give model users a custom experience, and this goes beyond just reporting and visualizations. In Quantrix, teams can work together in real time on online model-driven applications, which have a scalable, powerful modeling engine driving them underneath. And if you're interested in seeing more of what's under the hood in Quantrix, we cover a lot of this in our previous episodes, including how to build scenarios and designing interactive dashboards without any code. Additionally, if you're interested, we offer a free trial, which is 30 days fully featured. You can check out our desktop application modeler. You can go to Quantrix.com slash free dash trial. And we also offer demonstrations. So if you'd like to see how Quantrix can work for you and your business, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again, and we will see you in the next episode.